city of Townville. Everything is calm and quiet except for a look at the graveyard over in the forest. Oh. Hello everyone, my name is Atratsu and today I'm giving my thoughts on The Far Kingdom's Age of Solitaire. This game was developed by Lazy Turtle Games, released in 2018, and I beat it in 3.5 hours. This game is priced at $4.99, or your regional equivalent, but I got this game for free from my Steam Curator. So, I was like, huh, what games haven't I covered yet from my Steam Curator? Because I've been putting that off, I'm sorry. And so I was like, I'm gonna pick one of those. And so I did, and I played it. And I was like, I already can talk about this game and get it all done, wrapped up, bam, done, reviewed, and posted. So this is just solitaire, uh, with a bit of a twist. Let's first switch characters. Oh no, three hours and 16 minutes. Now you know I wasn't exactly truthful in 3.5 hours, oh no. All right, new. Type in your name. Uh, but, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I want to. You would have thought I would have been prepared for this. Um, whiz kid. <laughs> I don't know. Play. Welcome, welcome, whiz kid. Click here if it's not you. So we play and zoom in. This was. I was like at first when I saw this cutscene. I was like, excuse me. What is, what, what kind of game is this gonna be? Is this really about solitaire? Cause they've got some interesting like 3D, like there's an interesting art style in this game that I was like, is this really gonna be, is this really gonna be solitaire? You know solitaire, the, where you have a deck of cards and you just stack cards on top of each other and you try to put the deck back. Is that, is that, is that what this game is gonna be about? We'll see about that. It is. Spoilers, it definitely is. Uh, background of the story, very short, basically one bullet point. Um, the good king is dead. The black wizard came and destroyed everybody. You're the queen, uh, or princess, I, I think it would be more appropriate to say that she's the queen. And you're trying to rebuild your city by playing, uh, by playing to solitaire. Just like what the day recommends. Tutorial land, you go here, you build this. Oh look, we gave you just enough money to build build your pavilion, your tent, your castle. Just give me the name again. I wasn't actually looking. I wasn't looking, okay. Play and yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the, oops, I didn't mean to click that. Yeah, yeah, can I, no, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I want it. Skip tutorial, I'm fine. All right, no, skip tutorial, please, stop, stop. I don't, I don't need this help. I don't need these arrows. I can do this, I did this. I did just a little bit ago, end combo, got it, yep, uh-huh. All right, so, that's the story in a, but, in a bullet point. You're rebuilding the kingdom, and it's basically solitaire with a storyline. So the way that this works, if you haven't been able to piece it together right now, I would be amazed if you couldn't piece it together right now. I'm not doing it that way. You're not the boss of me. I'll do it however I want. However, I did miss that one. What you're doing is you have a card here, and it can be one increment up and one increment down. Don't worry about um, the color of the card. Don't worry about if it's hearts, clubs, spades, or diamonds. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's one up or one down. So let's go to three okay we don't have a two or a four out here so we click next seven one up this one one down this one here one up here one up one up what we got money from that one one down one down and this Ooh, i did that one instead i'll show you game one up and then the king and the ace, or the king and the one, are the ones that stack on each other. Eight, 
What if I can fail this? What would the game do if I failed the beginning tutorial? First, let's see if I can succeed in the tutorial. Yep, oh, nope, that's it. Two cards left. Oh, no. Fortune teller. Congratulations, you finished your first hand, but you have to complete the goal and find all the required go. Okay. So you have to get more gold, so you replay. And you have just seen what this game has to offer. <laughs> that is all there is to say. So, that one. I don't want to... Oh, there we go. I don't want to embarrass myself with playing like oh can't try to talk and think at the same and think at the same time no i'm not able to think that fast and i don't want to think that fast people that are good at solitaire are will point out all the different things i was like oh this is all you have to do here's the thing actually i don't even need to think when i play at the same time for this game because it doesn't even matter if you win it or not whoop should have undo it. Un you're giving one undo. You can do that. Should have put that one there. If you miss one, then one of the cards up here dances just to mock me that I wasn't paying attention. Come on. There. No. And that one. That one. Up. Oh, king. Ace. And... Oh, I messed up. Not paying attention. I only have two numbers, and I'm not paying attention to them whatsoever. All right. So we need... There it is. Boom. Perfect. I did it. Ah, beautiful. There's... I don't think there's a, a fail state here. Let's go to back to the map. So we're building this. This is how much gold we have to save up. And you get the gold just by playing games. And you don't even need to complete the whole set. You can just absentmindedly click through stuff, getting wild cards... Just click through, as long as you, ah, see, there were some there. There's like three, three, two, three, two, and, and then I could just be like, all right, I'll just click through the rest of these. No punishment. You just click on through and, and, ta-da. And I still got that gold. I still got gold for playing through it. So yeah. Far Kingdom's Age of Solitaire is definitely a casual game. There's really no fail state, and I have heard the case to be made that is a game really a game if there isn't a fail state? So, yeah. This is what the game looks like. You build these buildings. Typically what happens is you get enough gold to build a new building, you get attacked by a monster, and then you have some 3D effect that shows up and you get to admire the 3D work and the listen to the music in the background. And once that's done, then you go back and you play another game of Solitaire and you collect 10 gems to charge your laser to beat the monster that's attacking you. Then you go back to building a building and you play games until you get enough gold and then you get that. So again, that's the gameplay loop. You alternate between building buildings and fighting off the monsters by playing solitaire and once three hours goes by you now have spent three hours of your life and you've played this game that being said uh kind of speak matter-of-factly about it a thought that i posed to myself was would i be playing this game if i hadn't gotten it in my steam library through my steam curator page and the answer is no, I really would not be playing this game if I hadn't gotten a copy of it. I don't actively seek out solitaire games. That being said though, did I find my experience unpleasant playing it? And that's not the case either. I sometimes wonder if I get like Stockholm Syndrome and I'm just like, hmm, do I just get used to games? I get into a mindset where I'm just like, all right, well, this is just what I'm playing now. And for me, that's a beneficial thing because I'm just like, all right, well, I guess this is just what I'm going to play for tonight. And I just, I'm okay with it. The music was pleasant to listen to. This was just zen. I sat down and I clicked through cards and I matched. And that's what I spent three hours of my evening doing, Ooh, undo, do that, 
You do get some things like wild cards here, so there are a few changes to the standard solitaire mechanic, so that might interest some people. The game is what it advertises itself to be, which is solitaire. If you like it, fantastic, check it out. Um, yeah, might want to pick it up on a sale. It is rather short. Yeah, that's really all that I have to say about the game. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. It's probably the shortest my thought video that I've made, but I, I mean, it's solitaire, people. What do you want me to say about it? And revolutionize the industry. Honestly, it would be more interesting doing like a video on the history of solitaire, but that would be a lot of work and I'd run scrapped and yeah, it would be that would be an interesting video that I could talk some t some about if I did some research on solitaire. And like at this point, I'm just clicking. I'm not even trying to match stuff. I'm just clicking and watching the cards dance for me. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.